¿Sí? ¿Lo iremos? Well guys, I uh, checked the food traps and I noticed the day now there's quite a bit of rabbit sign around until now you know there wasn't much sign. Looks like they uh, ran through the last couple of nights so I think it's soon be time to uh, get a few rabbit scares in. I'm gonna bottle some up here. Hop around here a little bit of rabbit arm tree here over this way. Yeah. Look at this. Looks like I got my first Merton in the morning. Uh, I haven't got many traps to check but uh, Anyway, we get another one be along with this one. I call it very good. And look what we got here. That's another big land butte. Got another four or five traps left to check. So who knows when we get another one. Here squirrels and obviously an owl or something off in the distance there. And uh, this box here, I showed this one in the last video uh, where these trees bowed over and must have struck them coming down, hadn't beat apart. And, uh, I took a little bit extra time, you know, to, to fix them up. Uh, I could have easily skipped and went on to the next one, but I never. And I'm sure glad I did take the time because now this one uh, makes a hat trick. So it really goes to show sometimes that little extra effort is what pays off sometimes. And I certainly did today. So he's not real dark, but uh, I'm going to take him all the same. Well, just look at this. Uh, I got one eat here. Uh, looks like he was eat by another Martin. Oh man, I hate when this happens. Uh, I'm going to put another trap here and hopefully I'll get the culprit. Oh boy, that's a disappointment. What a way to finish off the day. It happens, you know. Uh, sad to see, but it happens. Well, that's uh, today's catch. Uh, three good ones, and this one here was a bit eat, so I'm still going to skin it out, and I'll just hang it in the shed while I'm here. I'm just going to wrap it. I need to come in and get the oilies. <laughs> That's different. Well, guys, I'm gonna skin these off for now. This uh, latest catch.
yeah, they're tired enough to now, it still froze a bit, but should be able to mend. Well guys, last night I cleaned these tree Mertens for uh, Ken Misher, he's an elder, uh, he's uh, 83 years old I believe, and he was pretty much trapping all his life, and uh, right now though he's he got really bad arthritis in his hands, and he, he, he can't uh, clean the fur like he did one time, you know, I find it really difficult now, and he messaged me and asked that I know anyone that cleans fur, and I said, well drop him off and uh, I'll clean them for you, and uh, yeah, treat these very similar, kind of all in one, not from the same brew. They're not real dark, but yeah, they're nice and big, and yeah, real nice thick fur on them as well. to come from the skill side. This fine size, you know, is really good for when you're uh, cleaning your fur. You'll see, whatever's good. I had some lumber that was kind of in the way there, so I said I'll cut it up now and uh, I'll stack it away. Uh, I had it for uh, the end pieces uh, for burden boxes. So I need two to a box. And the front and the back pieces, I already had those cut out. Uh, yeah, and I got quite a few Quite a few upstairs. So anytime I get a bit of free time now, I'll uh, staple together a few boxes. And like I showed uh, in the video, some of the ones that got damaged and whatnot, they've got to be yeah, replaced. I'll be, be replacing them with these uh, newer stall boxes. And uh, that's the plan going forward. A few traps. I don't plan on having a, a big lot today. Uh, I think in the afternoon now may turn off the rain. So. But, uh, yeah, actually, when I come here last year, you know, the box here was gone. Uh, beer had knocked off, and there was a lot of snow down, and I couldn't find it. So I put that box here. That's why it's kind of a little higher than most of my boxes. And, uh, but uh, when I came here the year, he was on the ground. I found it, and I just put it in another location. And uh, today, uh, I'm relearn re all the sets with some uh, dead horse gulch. Uh, this is extreme cold weather. Uh, when it's mild like this, now it's a bit runny. And when it gets colder, it stiffens up, but uh, I'm kind of low on lure, so uh, I got no other choice but to use this right now, but it puts off a real good smell. I uh, I was kind of saving this for later on in the winter, but uh, I kind of got no other choice but to use it now. So, <laughs> whew, and it's strong, I tell you. Uh, probably I won't be able to taste any food now this evening for supper, but, <laughs> but you know, the, the, the Martin can pick up on that scent a long ways away. And Moose just right there. Fresh tracks right here. Boy, I see some here. What's going there now? My Martin box right there, uh, new style one. And that's where the moose was standing right there. And uh, I was also going to show you how runny uh, this uh, Dead Horse Gulch is uh, at extreme cold weather. And uh, if I'd have known, you know, I'd have had this in the freezer for a couple of days and really stiffened this up. But, uh, but I never, so. Oh, reset this box right here. There was a Martin track not too far from here, so I put a trail camera there. And uh, but I never got near Martin or anything, so I'm gonna take this trail camera out of it now. And uh, I got a couple more trail cameras out, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of footage uh, after a while. First one of the day. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna haul too many more traps, though. Uh, you know my heel's pretty good, but I'm starting to notice it a little bit again. I don't want to overdo it and have to go back through everything that I've been through again, because. That wouldn't be fun, <laughs> but uh, the ones I am checking, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm putting all fresh lure to them, strengthening it up, get that scent going through the woods again so I can catch more of these. be the last trap for the day. Uh, I had a Martin eat here the other day, and uh, so I said I'll check this one, see did uh, the other one come back. Uh, he never, but uh, hopefully we'll get on the next check. One here that was eating the trap, so I got him on the, just hang it on the wall. Here honey. <laughs> yeah. This is all uh, the end pieces here now for Martin boxes and just putting the, the notches there for trap springs. So 
But anyway, I guess that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching, and uh, hope to see you all on the next one. All the best from the big land.